Hey, it's Carl from artofshred.com, and I am here with the GNL guitars Placentia or Placentia ASAT Blues Boy in Espresso. First off, let's talk about that tragic name. Everybody's going to call it Placenta. Whoever named this did not think ahead. I understand the GNL factory is on Placentia Avenue or Placentia Avenue, but really didn't think this through. When I was talking to musician's friend Chat, trying to find more information about this guitar, the person wrote placenta instead of placentia. So speaking of, there's no information about this guitar. I contacted GNL. They told me it's a Guitar Center musician's friend exclusive, but there's no information on the GNL website. There's very little information even on musician's friend website. There's, I mean, you see a few photos, the price $449.99. It's in stock and ready to ship. I bought it for $269.99 on, I guess it was launch day. So I have a, as I've mentioned before, if you've seen some previous videos, I have a bit of a knack for finding deals on gear. If you wanna hear about deals when I come across them, subscribe to Rift City, text here, link below, and I'll let you know. So, oh, one other thing, FedEx. Whew. My building has a Amazon locker and, and the delivery companies can either deliver to the locker or to the door. And this guitar came double boxed and the outer box was too big for the locker, but that didn't stop FedEx from trying. They smashed it in there and I had to get Amazon, an Amazon technician out to actually open it because they, FedEx basically smashed it in so good that it, I couldn't open it. Bad job, FedEx. I think the guitar is fine because it's only the outer box that was damaged. The inner box looks fine. Let's hope that's the case. We're going to find out together right now. Oh, so it's, it was triple boxed because it came in this box, this box, and then a musician's friend box. Plus rod adjustment and saddle adjustment keys. No, no manual, so no other information about this guitar. You can see the espresso finish. Kind of, uh, yeah, espresso. Um, looks like it was set up. We're gonna find that out in a second. Let me adjust the camera. When I contacted GNL, they had they emailed me a few specs, very bare bones. So poplar body, maple neck. All the electronics were provided to the manufacturer in China, made in China, little made in China sticker on, on the headstock. So that's what we got. Uh, the nut, I think is bone, obviously difficult to know for sure. The, there's no fret sprout. Good to go there. And as you can tell, obviously, a blues boy, the GNL blues boys have a humbucker in the neck and a single coil in the bridge position, three position switch, volume and tone. So yeah, string through body right there. Uh, and GNL tuners. A few things that I thought was were kind of weird, like they removed the plastic off the pick guard, but they didn't remove all of it. So there's like a few bits of plastic. Very interesting as far as the, the setup is concerned. Neither here nor there, just kind of a little bit sloppy there, but the guitar feels nice. It's, as far as all that goes, you know, no real, no real complaints. Dual string trees. Let's check real quick the string height, the action at the 12th fret. Pretty high. A little bit over two 
on the low E and just about at two on the high E. So when we do a full review and demo, I'll of course lower that. And I did uh, check the intonation when I tuned the guitar and they didn't int intonate it. So I'm not sure what the setup is. I'm, I'm sure it was just like a quick once over, which you know I'm, I'm fine with like the frets aren't oxidized, they're not dirty, there's no glue, no other garbage. So, hey, cool with that. What I will do is play you out with the same riff on all three positions, and we'll hear a little bit of what it sounds like. Let's turn, let's turn the volume on first, huh? <laughs> So that's the humbucker. Let's do the middle position. And the bridge pickup. So there we go. Sounds pretty good. Plays plays pretty good. Obviously action's a little, just a little bit too high. I mean, on the, on the low E, it's really, it's too high, but you know, easy to fix. I haven't noticed any fret buzz, but you know what? Let's give it a quick once over right now. So no fret buzz up to the 15th. Ooh, hard to reach. All right, so as far as that goes, no fret buzz. Obviously, the action's a little high, so when I lower it, we'll see what happens. But yeah, there we go. That's the GNL Blues Boy. Let me get the whole name right again. The GNL Placentia series. ASAP Blues Boy in Espresso, which is kind of a dark brown. So uh, looks nice. So far, very quick demo. You heard what it sounds like uh, basically when I did. So besides when I tuned it, I dig it so far. But as with all the guitars I review, I don't like to just unbox and review them and give them a review like that because it's just not, you gotta put a guitar through its paces a little bit. So every other guitar on this channel has been played for at least 10 hours before I've reviewed it. So very likely that'll be the case with this one. I mean, I'll at least put a few hours on it before I release a full review. If you wanna see that, of course, subscribe, like this video all that good stuff. And until next time, see ya.